It's time for another art activity with Miss Bodine. Hey, how you doing, Kipsters? So it's Miss Bodine here for another art lesson, and today we're gonna do our first drawing art lesson. And so I'm gonna take down our old lesson, which was our coloring sheets. I hope you had fun making them and coloring them and decorating them. Um, I wish you could turn them into me, but I'll have to look at them through pictures. If you remember to send me pictures. Always remember to add your name to a picture. Um, so before I put this up here, what our, what our project's going to be today, I wanted to just let you know what's been inspiring me lately. So Miss Bodine gets to go out to our family farm every once in a while during this break. And when I've been out there walking around, I've just been so inspired by all the things I've been seeing. And it reminded me of something that one of my art teachers told me once, which is artists aren't just about making art, they're about looking closely at things before you make art. So if you can notice with your eyes all the details, like for example, if we were going to draw a rooster, you might notice the shapes of the rooster's tail and the shape of the funny little top part on a rooster. You might notice the shadows that a rooster makes when it's walking on the grass. You might notice the way that the color shifts from blue to purple on a rooster's feather. And when you can notice those things with your eyes, that means you can draw them with your hand. So our project, if you can't tell, is to make a rooster. And Miss Bodine is gonna use, oops. Miss Bodine is going to use markers to make this rooster because you can actually color and paint in with markers a lot like you can with a paintbrush. But if you have crayons or even a pen and pencil, you can also make a rooster as well. So we're gonna do a fun draw with me. So let's learn a little bit more about roosters, shall we? All right, so here's a few facts about roosters. Roosters are adult male chickens and roosters are larger than female chickens, which are called hens, and they have special things about them that look differently. For example, when you look at a rooster's tail feathers and its feathers in general, they're generally more beautiful and pretty and brightly colored. And that's because the roosters have to show off for the hens. So they might have really big tails with really fluffy parts that they can show off how strong they are. They might have really brightly colored, colored feathers. And then they have this thing on the top of their head, which is called a comb, kind of like how you comb your hair. And the rooster with the tallest, biggest comb on top of their head is usually the rooster that the hens like the most. So there's some facts about roosters. Roosters are also the protectors of the flock. So if anything could come and hurt the hens, the rooster's job is to protect them. Another funny thing about roosters is that they are the type of chicken that does that classic rooster call in the morning to wake everybody up. So let's listen to how that sounds. Pretty cool. All right, so here I'm going to get started drawing my very own rooster. Wow, I could use a marker, a pen, or a pencil. I'm gonna use the marker so you can see clearer when you're watching the video, but you can use a pencil or a pen or anything you've got. So I'm starting with the eye, then I'm gonna go around with the head. And I'm doing one step at a time. Every time you start drawing something, it might look weird, but as you add details as you're going, you're gonna realize it's gonna turn out just fine. Just don't give up. Wow. Anytime when I'm drawing, you can pause the video to finish a step or to fix a step. If I were you, I'd use pencil so I can pause, go back, fix, and erase. Here I'm just finishing the body so I can get to the big, beautiful rooster tail. I'm gonna go up and around because the rooster tail is very important. I'm gonna add details in the feathers because I notice it's not just one feather when I looked at pictures of roosters. I noticed there's lots of feathers in each plume that goes up. Oh, there's some that go down and 
and one more skinny one that'll lay all the way down. Great tail. Now I'm gonna add the wing. Mm, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, that's kind of small. Now that fits that rooster better. I made a mistake, I'm gonna go back and fix that. All right, last but not least, I'm gonna add each leg. Three toes in front, one in the back. Three toes in front, one in the back. And my rooster is done and ready to color. All right, so from here on, you can just color your rooster if you want, but I have a cool trick with markers that you can do. So if you don't have markers, go ahead and color with whatever you've got. If you do have markers, you're gonna love this tip right here. So for this trick, first I started by using washable markers and coloring in the face and the neck of the rooster. I noticed that there was brown, golden yellow, and orange. So I colored all those colors in the neck and the face of the rooster. Then you see I took a paintbrush and I added just plain clear water. And just so you know, this is going to sink through your paper and eventually make a mess. So make sure that you're not doing this on a tablecloth. Make sure this is on a table that you can clean off with a Clorox wipe or some cleaner so that you don't ruin anything. Now, as you see me adding the water, at first it doesn't look like anything is happening. And you may ask yourself, why am I adding water? Nothing's happening. But the magic is in the waiting. So now you can see some of the water is starting to sink in with the marker and the colors are going to bleed together. And instead of seeing yellow, brown, and orange all separate, you're gonna start to see a mixture of all those three colors. Now I'm going down to the body and I noticed that the wing was mostly brown with some orange in it. So again, I'm using my washable orange markers and adding the colors that I see. And I'm working in small sections, so I'll just do the neck at a time and then the wing at a time, adding markers and adding my water. If you don't have a brush, you can actually add water just by with a paper towel that's wet and dabbing water onto it. As long as the paper is getting wet, the water will help the marker bleed together. All right, and the last section is gonna be my favorite section. This is when we add the tail colors. So I noticed in my pictures of roosters that the tails were black, but they were a very special kind of black. They were iridescent black. That means that in certain light, the black shined bright blue. And then in a different light, it might shine teal. And sometimes you might even see a beautiful deep purple in those black feathers. So I added all those colors plus black to the tail. And here I will go adding more water. All right, now you're gonna keep going like this until your whole rooster is filled in. And remember, anywhere that you put water is where the marker will bleed into. So try to keep all the water inside your rooster. All right, let's see the finished product. All right, here is my finished product. You can see that the colors have started to all bleed together, making it almost look like I painted it. When you look at that tail, you can see it's almost like a cool tie-dye rooster tail. It's showing how the tail is iridescent. That is it for our rooster project. Make sure to send me your finished roosters, and don't forget that you should always put your name on your picture before you send me it, so that I know who did it. See you next time on Art with Miss Bodine.